lady on Cavendish. Do you mind, Cavendish, you're dripping all over me sash. I do apologise, my lord. I feel I ought to point out, my lord, that the sashes are generally worn from the other shoulder, my lord. Next, they've planned a visit to St Paul's Cathedral, Christopher Wren's masterpiece, its stones still soaring above the surrounding rooftops. After that, my lord, we'll be taking a quick drive round the housing estate, a place to live that anyone might be proud of, where London's Greater London Council is building a new city of the future. I say I won't have to shake hands with anybody, will I? No, my lord. If you do, I'll insist they wear gloves. Time has been scheduled for a bit of relaxation. A spot of shopping, my lord. If you're still interested in food, you needn't just buy the delicacies. There are places all over London which are only too glad to let you eat it. You mean we get free victuals? Uh, no, my lord, but for a small monetary transaction, you can try the roast beef of Old England. Or Scotch salmon. The best from our islands or from across the seas. And then, of course, there are all kinds of places in which to settle that deal over cigars. Or make the most of the crepe Suzette. Cavendish continued listing the delights to come. Next, my lord. There's a whirlwind tour of London, my lord. What, another one? Whether it's watching the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, my lord, or swirling around with the big red buses in Piccadilly Circus, the streets of London are full of people. Shouldn't be allowed. Haven't they got homes to go to? And so, later that day... Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Hello? Hello? Uh, sorry, uh, can you speak up, please, madam? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The Isle of what? Oh. Well, I'm sorry, no, he can't. You see, he's on the Thames at the moment. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, there's been a request for his lordship to visit the Isle of Man. The Isle of Man. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. This is one of the world's crossroads. And someone's sure to tell you, my lord, that if you stand here long enough, you'll see everyone you've ever known. Good grief. I might meet me Taylor. No, you'd better cut that from the itinerary, Cavendish. You're also being allowed a free run of the parks, or as someone once called them, the lungs of London. <coughs> Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Even in the centre of the city, Londoners can watch the changing seasons in the parks. Flowers, trees and water have something new to offer at all times of the year. And then, of course, we're not escaping from the ancient ritual of visiting a few local inns. You mean a pub crawl? Yes, my lord. One way to keep out the foggy, foggy dew, my lord, is in a London pub. The cut glass and gleaming mahogany of the Red Lion near St. James's will put a sparkle in anyone's eye. A little of what you fancy does you good. My word, I know what I fancy. The barmaids have their own brand of rye backjack. These elaborate interiors have been called the great Victorian contribution to the architecture of drink. What the devil's he on about? If you'll allow me to finish, my lord. They are full of corners where you can stand and sip and get in the mood for a show. Whether it's to be Cotton Garden or the Palladium. Oh, that takes me back a bit. Reminds me of the time I drank shampoos from a girl's slipper. Well, she wasn't much to look at, but she took size 12 in shoes. <laughs> Every night is an occasion for somebody, my lord, whether it's a dinner for two over a bottle of wine in Soho or a gala premiere in full evening dress and decorations. You can't really say it ever gets dark in London's West End. The theatre names light up the night 
making their own patterns of invitation and promise. Well, I must say it all sounds rather jolly. When do we start? We arrive at the capital early tomorrow morning, my lord. Meantime, I've arranged accommodation at this small riverside hotel. I suggest that we register at once. And go to the keys by the tender. Quick march! even for a lift attendant. Hey, come back! Keith! Hey, Keith! We need to live with you! Hush! We're the endless Keith! And now, well! As goes the Keith, by the center, quick march! Make enough fuss over a key, don't they? Where's my room? Day to night, at the halt! Night, boom! I say, nice line of souvenirs in the foyer. I say, Cavendish. It's getting a bit dark down here, isn't it? Here we are, my lord. Your room. Damn funny. Bars at the windows. Bed chained to the wall. Dawn. His lordship boarded his barge again. Now the first hint of warnings in the air. One by one, the ships are moving with the river. And now, my lord, the first shadow of a wave touches the water, and this is no longer the river. This is the sea. The sea, Cavendish? What the devil's happened to the London and my reception? We haven't missed it, have we? If we have, Cavendish, by Jove, I'm warning you all. You'll feel the leather of my boot, and I burn you. You fool, you... Eight weeks later... 